Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're going to look at the ECMDFX steady model for today's uh, first video for the next uh, 30 days, next four weeks. It's a four week look ahead for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. I shall get on that for you uh, very shortly. Just to say that coming up later on, we're going to have a 10 to 14 day period update, including all our big features. And then tonight we're going to have the uh, latest Christmas update. Uh, that'll be update number six. So that'll be coming up for you uh, this evening, probably around seven to eight clock something like that i would have thought uh so this one we're at the ecmdf.int uh website big thank you to them for supplying us uh with the charts and uh so we can actually extend out to week six uh with this we can do a six weeks look ahead however for this one as it's a 30 day look ahead uh we're going to stop at week four we will show you weeks five and six data in our live stream tomorrow and that will be from uh six o'clock in the evening tomorrow evening right let's get on with it they're going to start off with mean silver pressure anomalies uh for uh northern europe so this is how we're looking uh, for week one. This is taking us from the week of the 16th uh, through to 23rd of uh, November. So in week here, we have low pressure across much of uh, Scandinavia and the North Atlantic. Uh, with high pressure, let's change the colour. We've got an area of high pressure sitting to uh, the south across much of, sort of France, Spain, Portugal and in Central Europe as well. There's a ridge in the North East. Flat and westerly, basically, and uh, and yeah, Atlantic driven with high pressure to the south, across much of southern and southwestern Europe, low pressure across the far north of Europe. And so, the most unsettling conditions, of course, are going to be with with this low pressure up across Scandinavia into northern parts of the British Isles as well. Whereas further south, we're dominated by high pressure. This is how the wider view looks uh, from the North Pole down. So again, just the idea that many parts of Europe are actually going to be covered by high pressure in the week ahead. But we will have some lower pressure uh, up to the north for week one. The temperature anomaly uh, for week one uh, is looking like this. Uh, again, this is for the 16th through to 23rd of November. So a proper northwest south be split, much of northern and western Europe being forecast to be uh, milder than average, a swathe of milder than average temperatures from Spain and Portugal to the southwest right way to the north of Scandinavia and into the Arctic Circle in the far north, widely like two, three degrees above average in the northwest Europe. Conversely, though, it is colder in the east and in the southeast of Europe, so from Italy up to southwestern Russia and eastwards of that, the Black Sea, even around Greece and Turkey, generally looking at quite cool temperatures coming through there. So a classic northwest southeast split with the temperature anomaly uh, for week one. Um, precipitation anomalies look pretty dry through many parts of Europe, but there are exceptions. So the far north of Europe, of course, has above average precipitation around Scandinavia, low pressure dominating there. So significantly above average precipitation. And also in this far southeastern corner of Europe, like from southern Italy, um, and down in towards Greece and Turkey, those areas are looking a little bit uh, wetter than average too, possibly extending up towards Black Sea uh, as well. But in between, there's a swathe of dry weather from Spain and Portugal right way up to western uh, Russia. Plenty of high pressure dominating through there, bringing mostly dry conditions. You can see where the high pressure is centered. Kind of. The ridge is going to be centered around there and there, and then we're going to have low pressure up here and the jet stream will be coming through somewhere uh like that right let's go through to week two then uh so this is week two mean cell pressure anomaly takes us from the 23rd uh to the 30th of november again we're going to see low pressure around greenland and iceland so uh unsettled in the north atlantic High pressure continues across many western and southern parts of Europe, extending out into the Atlantic as well. Jet streams push northwards a little bit like that. So once more, we, we're going to see a lot of dry and pretty mild weather coming up uh, in, in the week ahead, you would have thought, with winds tending to be from a southwesterly direction. Uh, this is how the uh, 500 mm of our height anomaly is looking for week two. 
And again, same sort of idea, uh, really to see where the low pressure is. That's up towards Greenland and Iceland. In the North Atlantic, we've got the ridge across many western, southwestern parts of Europe. Another trough through here across the east of Europe. That will bring cold temperatures down the eastern side of Europe. Uh, there is some northern blocking, but it's over towards uh, Svalbard and back into northern Russia. So generally, much of western, northern Europe is dominated by mild southwest winds, but the eastern side of Europe could have some cold northerly winds. Uh, week 2 temperature anomaly, uh, which takes us again from the 23rd to 30th of November. Once again, displaying that northwest southeast split. So, uh, again, we see above average temperatures in the north and in the west of Europe, Scandinavia, UK, Ireland, France, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, down to Spain and Portugal, and into central part of the Mediterranean, mild and average through there. Cold of an average through Italy, uh, over the Balkans, into the southeastern corner of, uh, of Europe, I mean, down into the eastern part of the Mediterranean. So cold in the south and east, mild in the north and the west, and the northwest um, in, uh, in week two. The week two precipitation anomaly from the 23rd to the 30th of November. Again, it's a dry scene, really, through most parts of Europe, indicative of high pressure. The exceptions are in the extreme east and southeast of Europe and in the far northwest, too. But in between, we're dominated by high pressure. And there will be a lot of dry weather across most parts of Europe for the final week of uh, November. Mediterranean-wise, much of the Med looks dry, although it could be a little bit wetter, perhaps in the extreme eastern part of the Mediterranean. And of course, temperature anomaly is displaying that uh, north, that east-west split in the Med too. So the western part of Med, the central bowl of Med, is warm and average, cooler than average over on the eastern side of the Med from Italy eastwards. Week 3, uh, mean cell pressure anomaly, uh, taking us from the 30th of November to the 7th of December, is looking like this. Uh, so a bit of a change here. It looks like the ridge is moving over towards the eastern side of Europe. Got higher pressure on the east side of Europe. Conversely, maybe he's got some lower pressure in the west of Europe. Possibly it is. So it might be starting to turn more and settle across western parts of Europe as the ridge drifts away. Into, uh, into the east part of Europe. There is also a little bit of high pressure just to the south with green, so that might start to bring in some colder uh, into that uh, trough of low pressure if it comes off. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height. Let me see how that's looking. So again, yeah, it is the idea, but it's more a settled week for Western Europe. The ridge is slipping over towards the east side of Europe, high pressure in the east of Europe, which will probably draw up mild uh, sort of southerly winds on the east side of Europe, I would have thought. Also, the ridge pulling out into the middle of the North Atlantic, travel low pressure just here, and so that could send the jet stream southwards uh, a little bit and turning perhaps colder and more unsettled for the far west of Europe, UK, Ireland, possibly into France too. The temperature anomaly for week three looks like that. Definitely cooling down in the extreme uh, west. So Ireland uh, going cooler than average. UK is reverting back to near normal. Temperature anomalies or no signal. France, Spain, Portugal. Just looking that little bit cooler, I think, uh, in the first week of December. Conversely, it's still milder than average up across Scandinavia. Becoming a bit milder through the central and eastern parts of Europe as well. Cold and average uh, temperature is being forced away into uh, western Russia, really, and probably down towards the uh, Middle East uh, as well. So, so I think, yeah, it looks like uh, week three, first week of uh, December, becomes milder through eastern parts of Europe, but possibly start to become a bit colder across the western uh, side of Europe. Mediterranean-wise, does look pretty mild, really, especially through the central bowl of the Med um, in week three. And then uh, week three precipitation uh, anomalies uh, looking like uh, this. Again, 30th of uh, November, 10th of December. So the dry and average condition has been forced away more towards the eastern side of Europe. That's where the ridge is pushing over to onto the east side of Europe. And possibly, it's a weak signal, but possibly hinting at being a little bit more and set across West Europe. Notice it's going dry of an average uh, around Greenland. That could be indicative of a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge and um, possibly some higher heights 
up towards uh, green and the Mediterranean essential bowl of the med actually looks quite unsettled it looks dry on the eastern side of med Spain and Portugal might be a little bit on the unsettled side as well and then lastly for this video we go through to week four this is week four mean cell pressure anomaly which takes us from the 7th of December uh, to the 14th of December and it looks like that so overall again we see the ridge uh, more towards the eastern southeastern side of Europe there's not a lot going on here is there so I'm not really all that sure what's happening there but possibly we do see a little bit of high pressure uh south of Greenland I would have thought with the ridge over on the east side of Europe so we've got these pink colors that's a high pressure so the high pressure is in the east and the southeast I would have thought this area is likely to be more unsettled uh in reality and there might be a dip in the jet stream as well Doing something a little bit like that, perhaps with the jet, with the flow, and with the jet. The week for 500 billabar height anomaly is looking uh, like this. So a ridge just there, another ridge just here. Uh, and then you would have thought, because there's going to be low pressure somewhere, hasn't there? So you would have thought probably a trough of low pressure uh, through here. Which again could just about place Ireland and the UK uh, on the colder side of the jet stream. Uh, week four temperature anomaly looks milder than average again through many parts of Northern Europe. Much of the Med looks milder than average too. Perhaps a bit cooler than average still across the far northwest side of the UK and out into the Atlantic and also on this far eastern side of Europe. Possibly it's a bit cooler there. And then the week four, um, the week four uh, precipitation anomaly just looks a little bit wetter than average. It's a very weak signal, a bit wetter than average for Scandinavia. Otherwise, it's not much of a signal by the time we get through to there. But notably, it is drier than average through much of the uh, North Atlantic by the look of it. So, so again, you would probably think this area could have some higher pressure. If it does, then that's likely to force a jet stream southwards. But it is a weak signal. By the time you get through to week four. Uh, right then, uh, so that's it. So so really looking mild uh, for the north and the west of Europe for the rest of November. Um, and cooler or colder in the east and the southeast. And then possibly possibly just a few hints of a bit of a flip into December. With the north and the west maybe going colder. And the south and the east going a bit milder. But it is quite a weak signal. Now, we're going to extend out beyond this in our live stream tomorrow, and I'll show you week five and six uh, data from the ECFDFX study model, and that will take us right way uh, to the uh, right way to the last stages of December and through Christmas uh, as well. So that will be coming up in the live stream, uh, which will be from six o'clock tomorrow evening. We'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day update, including all regular features, and we've got a Christmas update coming up tonight. So uh, come back for all of the videos, all of the content. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.